Hi, Sister Scaleback, coming in with my week 67 gastric bypass RNY update. I had surgery June 16th, 2014 in Toronto Western Ontario Hospital. Uh, my highest weight was 200 and my highest weight was 361 pounds. Day of surgery, I was 339 pounds. Last time I came to you, which I'm really ashamed to say was four weeks ago, I was uh, 237 pounds, and this week I am 236 pounds, so one pound down. Um, <clears throat> I'm still not very pleased with that because uh, four weeks ago I had actually gained five pounds, so I'm still, I haven't re-lost what I had gained. Um, so where have I been? for the last four weeks. I started a new job. Um, basically, I have to travel uh, quite a distance to get to my new job, so it's an hour commute every day uh, when you factor in stopping for coffee and, and that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, and it's a very heavy information type job, so there's a lot of learning. and. Uh, this brain is getting old, <laughs> so uh, I don't learn as easily as I used to, and I'm a little surprised by that. Uh, the bifocals don't work as well as this is the first bifocals I've ever owned, so it takes a little bit of getting used to when you're sitting at a computer and you actually want to read something. You have to sort of tip your head up, or as I think I might have to do is get some reading glasses. Uh, not even 50 yet and uh, feeling a little old. Um, in training with some 20 year olds who are faster and more, I don't know, uh, able to retain information uh, than, than I can. Um, but on the other hand, I have a lot more experience and so my customer service and my ability to talk to people is uh, very spot on when it comes to the sort of work that I'm going to be doing. I work, I'm working in a call center. Um, and that's about all I'll say about that because I'm not allowed to go into detail. But <laughs> anyway, it's been a mind-boggling informational month. And uh, it probably will be another few weeks before I'll get used to things uh, well enough to relax. I guess I'm, a, I'm really hard on myself. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I always try to do, I always try to do the best that I can do and by that I mean know it all and know it now instead of just relaxing and knowing that I can look it up somewhere I try to retain it all uh, I also have a very ill mother right now so I won't say very ill that's the wrong way to put it uh, she has balance problems to the point where she staggers and bangs into walls and door jams and that sort of thing as she walks um, they're looking at inner ear, but of course, um, it's been getting progressively worse over the last five years. So it's more than likely neurological. Uh, and so she has to see specialists, but it's been a whirlwind of taking her to ERs, trying to figure out what's going on, CAT scans. And, uh, uh, she's also, uh, quitting smoking. So she's doing the vape, which is nice. Uh, my mom has COPD and she was quite the smoker for 50 years and finally she's now uh, quit she hasn't had a cigarette in three weeks so I'm very happy and proud of her for that um, because she had quite the scare with a hospital event that I think gave her a wake-up call and uh, sometimes that's what happens even with uh, me when I was obese morbidly obese I had wake-up calls dealt to me where I was going to the hospital with chest pain thinking I was having heart attacks and I mean ultimately the type 2 diabetes, the chest pains, the knee pain, all of those things eventually wake you up to the fact that you have to do something drastic to change your situation. And so I'm glad that that happened in order to help her change. And uh, it just seems like when, when things happen, they happen all at once. So new job. Um, a mom who is uh, coping with this um, new lifestyle and uh, new health issues. 
My husband, Jerry, if you saw my last video, you know he got a surgery date. So he'll be having surgery October 22nd. And we're very excited about that. He's very excited about that. Um, again, it's happening all at the same time. So I'll be working a new job. I won't necessarily be able to take time off to be there, although I will be there day of surgery. Um, I have that off naturally, thank goodness. Um, but, you know, it comes in threes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but all summer long, nothing happened. You know, it was like the most uneventful summer. And I was free to travel and go see people and do things. And now it's just, you know, everything's booked up and appointments. And so what I want to bring myself around to talking about and to, to tell you about, especially to anyone who's considering the surgery or who is recently post-op, I'm a rule follower and I always stick to the rules. I like rules. I'm a black and white girl, uh, meaning I either see things as a yes or a no, or, you know, I have very few maybes in my life. I'm a very decisive, controlled individual. Um, but I have a breaking point. <laughs> and uh, my husband can attest to that. And so with a multitude of issues uh, cropping up over the past month or two, I have resorted to indulging in things that comfort. And those things are always usually food related. Uh, so for example, today on my drive home from work, I hit the McDonald's and I had a double cheeseburger and fries. And I haven't done that in a long time. Um, months, right, Jerry, I think? He's, yeah, he's right there. Hi, Jerry. Hi. <laughs> um, but I did it, and I didn't feel bad about it, and I didn't even try to tell myself, no, I said, no, I deserve it. I'm going to have it. That is a very dangerous <laughs> thought process. It's what got us big in the first place, and, uh, you know, well, this once won't hurt. And so that's why I believe in the rules, and I'm very strict with myself, and I'm strict with others in whatever it is that they're trying to do. I, I, I try to, you know, encourage them to stick to the rules. And here I am finding myself stressed out, worried about my mother, worried about my new job, uh, struggling to feel young, feel capable, um, struggling with that confidence that weight loss is supposed to bring, uh, I actually find it a little bit different. I, I felt very confident big and as I'm losing the weight, I'm feeling a little less confident and I'm not sure why that is. Um, strange, strange. Maybe I hid behind that big facade and people just didn't question me when I was bigger. They, maybe I seemed more authoritarian when I was bigger, but now I have a little less confidence. I'm more unsure of things. Um, it's one of these what next sort of feelings and, uh, but at the same time, I'm very happy for Jerry. I'm excited for him and I'm trying not to set bad habits that he's going to think are okay later on. Um, he is doing phenomenal. He's losing weight pre-op, uh, as he, as they want him to. So, um, <coughs> I'm just getting over a cold as well. Like I tell you, when it happens, it happens all at once. I don't know why it is. You ever watch Jim Carrey in that, that movie, The Truman Show? I swear, somebody's got a camera and they're, they're getting their kicks laughing about it because it just happens all at once. Uh, I'm sorry to all my subscribers. You guys, I love you all and I really miss watching your videos. I haven't been able to keep up. To videos I haven't been able to keep up to most things in my life including Facebook which I have always been if you know me a Facebook junkie if you do follow me on Facebook Catherine Dadson uh, you will see more of me because uh, it's very quick to upload a picture compared to editing a video 
Um, so, <coughs> not that I'm a great editor of video. Pardon me for the cough. Wow. Um, for the most part, I am still eating salad, protein. <coughs> Pardon me again. Salad, protein, veggies. Um, but I have, in stressful times, resorted to um, a bagel with cream cheese. Or um, a breakfast in the morning with toast, and I know carbs aren't the enemy. They're not. They're not the. They're not the end of the world. Okay, so even if you're new or pre-op, don't think that you have to completely go without bread. Um, in the beginning, yes, you do, <laughs> but eventually you'll be able to eat that again and. Um, uh, if you find comfort from bread, danger, danger, <laughs> danger, because <laughs> uh, that was my downfall, and I find myself in stressful situations going back to it. So I just want to put that warning out there. I want everyone to realize that, um, you know, I'm a year and three months post-op now, and um I can pretty much eat anything I want to. It's a matter of being strict with myself and caring enough about me at the moment to not allow other situations to derail my efforts. And uh, and the only one who's allowing it is me. So uh, be aware of that and uh, and stay strong and stay true to the reason why you did it in the first place. So in total, I think I'm down 125 pounds I'm striving to get to Wonderland, and I know sooner or later I will get there, um, and uh, I just have to find a way to recommit myself to taking care of me. Uh, I love y'all. Thanks so much for watching, and I will try, I can't promise, but I will try to do another update within the next couple of weeks, week or two. Um, my mom is going back home, sh you know, in the next few weeks. So we'll see how it goes after that. And uh, if I don't see or talk to you before then, have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're in Canada. Our Thanksgiving is October 12th. And, um, and hopefully I see you before the American Thanksgiving. <laughs> so talk to you all later, guys. Bye.